like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment. Without further ado, hey kids, it's Hyperdelic, and once again, I am here with another treasure from Jack Specific, uh, the Legend of Zelda's Zelda. <laughs> As soon as I got Link, I was like, oh my god, man, I need Zelda in this. You know, like, I need this. I, I, and, and I saw her today. I wasn't sure if I was going to be seeing this anytime soon. What, what what irks me about Jax is that they don't give you an idea of what other figures they have out there. There could be a Ganondorf that they've done, and I wouldn't know by looking at their package. I do, however, know that there's a Link with a Master Sword and a Shield. <laughs> hey, good job. So let's see. Let's read what we have going on here. Zelda with Sheikah Slate. Zelda is the wise princess of Hyrule whose sealing power is the key to stopping Calamity Ganon. She has a keen interest in researching ancient technology such as the mysterious Sheikah Slate. Ah, Breath of the Wild was one of my favorite games of all time. Like, I, I playing it, I was like, oh my god, this is my this is my favorite game of all time. Like, there was just no doubt about it. Like, it, it's such a special game. Like, it is. Like, so many of the Zelda titles can be described that way, as, like, just a special game, a title that is unlike any of the other in the series. And that's, like, every one of the Zelda games. Like, they are just amazing. But right now, we're going to find out whether or not this figure is amazing. Yeah, you like that segue? <laughs> All right, let's rip into it, and we'll take a look. Okay, and there she is in all her Zelda-y goodness. Uh... I, uh, this isn't going to be one of the longer videos. We're just going to kind of cover her because she's got pretty much the same articulation as Link had. And if you haven't seen that review, you should check it out. Maybe it's right there. <laughs> I don't know. Wherever it shows up. Click on it. But then come back and watch the rest of this. Uh, Zelda comes with one accessory, and that is the Sheikah Slate. Right? It's got a little sticker on that side that shows, like, the screen. Um, it's supposed to clip onto those hooks, but it don't stay. <laughs> Here, watch, I'll show you. Because her hair is definitely in the way. It, you can kind of put it on there, but it's not secure. It's going to pop off. <laughs> so I'm, I'm currently playing Echoes of Wisdom, so this is a very, very timely uh, review. I am absolutely smitten with, with Zelda and with that link. My only issue with this Zelda is her lack of a neck, right? She looks a little short in the head, but I could fix that. Um, basically, put like maybe an O-ring or even just put a little bit of epoxy on the top here, and that'll give it just a little bit of extra height on the neck. But other than that, this figure is excellent. Um, she does not have peg holes like Link does. I feel like that's a miss. <laughs> um, so be prepared for that. But what she does have is really nice. And you know what? We're going to zoom in and we'll take a look at all of the details much closer up. All right, let's do that now. Okay, so... Closer up, you can see all kinds of nice little details. There's the little barrettes. Her eyes look pretty good. Um, my camera always likes to pick up a lot more than the naked eye can see. There's the little right there. I'm not really sure. I think that might be. That was a hair. <laughs> she got a hair stuck on her. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's got double elbows with pins. So she can do this. Not bad. Heck of a lot better than uh, Loyal Subjects does. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, she has a hand on a horizontal rocker. Both hands are on the rocker. This one is slightly open. Uh, that's her That's her right hand. And her left hand is uh, more closed to hold the Sheikah Slate. Uh, as you can see, her whole entire outfit is nicely painted. Uh, there's a little bit of a mistake there and there, here and there, blah, blah, blah. Again, $10 toy. $10 toy. Keep your expectations realistic. Uh, she's got a waist very similar to Link's, uh, and she doesn't seem to come apart as easily as Link did. Uh, Link just wanted to kind of pop apart right there. She does not have excellent forward leg articulation. They're doing something here that, <laughs> I don't know why, but 
you're never going to make her sit, which is weird. But that's fine. Um, I mean, her and Link stand on my desk. Uh, you come down, she's got double jointed knees, uh, no, no waist or no hip swivel, um, nothing other than the head, and then all of the arms. The arms are, are well articulated. Let's see, how far does she T-pose out? About like that. So she won't go all the way up. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. The hair is nicely sculpted, um, though it does kind of get in the way of articulating it. Uh, this skirt is a separate piece. I mean, if you wanted to take it off, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing you could. But we'll come around and we'll take a look at some of the paint details. Uh, it's not perfectly painted, but uh, again, to the naked eye, you're not going to see some of these uh, small like paint errors. Uh, you're just not going it, it, to. It's almost unnoticeable when I look at it with my own eye, as opposed to, <laughs> sorry, I'm not trying to shove the gadunk in your face, but there it is. We've got a nice gyop right there. Not bad. Zelda's packing. <laughs> uh, the boots are pretty cool. I like the I like the little fold down thing. Uh, uh, the, the gold on the boots is a nice touch. Uh, come down. There's some really nice sculpting work on all of it. A little gold button there. It looks like that might be a scratch. Not great, but eh, you know, hey, that's life. Toe articulation goes about there. I gotta say, like, the toe articulation is sort of useless. Um, you can stand her like that, but she's not gonna stay up. You're gonna have to do some serious posing, and you're probably not gonna want her to leave her like that on the shelf, right? Um, but yeah, that's, those are, oh man, I, I mean, the gloves are look nice. The face is fairly okay. It's not perfect, and I do feel like she's a little too pale. Um, they should have made her a little bit tan, but yeah, no, this is a good look. I, uh, I look forward to seeing Tears of the Kingdom versions of these guys. Um, let me see if there's a boot cut. There is not. No boot swivel. No swivels whatsoever. Just regular articulation. And it's not bad. Um, here, we'll take a quick, close look at the Sheikah Slate. Uh, it, it's nicely detailed for a tiny little accessory. They did a good job. Um, the, you know, the screen and the back of it, they're both stickers, as you can see. Right, shiny sticker. But it's not bad. Um, at a normal view, you know, a little bit further back, it, uh, it doesn't look bad at all. To the naked eye, it's fantastic, right? <laughs> and again, I, I gotta remind you guys, you are seeing details on this that you're only going to see if you put this thing like a few centimeters away from your eye. I mean, look at how big my thumb is. And I have tiny little girly hands, okay? So, <laughs> you know, I have small art, art artist hands, right? I do quality control for a living. You know, that's, <laughs> there's not a lot of heavy work in that. <laughs> so, so it looks nice. Uh, I really, really like it. Uh, I, think, uh, I think they did a nice job. Uh, we're not going to do photos this time around. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of posing I can do with her, unfortunately. She's a very nice looking figure, but giving her dynamic poses is going to drive me up a wall trying to photograph it. <laughs> so, so we're just going to forego that one this time around. Um, so let's zoom out and we'll do some final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts time. So overall, $10 figure. I think Jack Pacific knocked this one out of the park. She's really well painted. The design is really nice. There are a few downsides. Uh, those legs do not articulate well. It's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. Her lack of neck is a little concerning. <laughs> She's gonna get hurt. <laughs> she can't, can't fight like that. Uh, I love her, her tiny little Nintendo Switch iPad Sheikah Sleep. It's great. It's a fabulous accessory. Her her face, like the the detail and the printing on the face is nice. It looks good. They did a good job. They did. They did a good job. Is this the best Zelda figure you are ever gonna get? No, it's not the best. But for for its price point, for its scale, <laughs> and for you know, like Jax is known for like, you know 
less detailed figures, right? But they still do a phenomenal job with some of these. I, uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully a Ganondorf at some point. Kind of need Ganon in my in my collection, right? I think we all do. Uh, so, Jax, come on, get on that. <laughs> and also, I want Echoes of Wisdom figures. I want them. I like, <laughs> I love the cutesy looking details of Echoes of Wisdom. I think they're adorable, and I really want some Jack Pacific inexpensive figures, <laughs> right? They don't have to be crazy articulated. They probably won't be able to be, especially not in the scale and design that they're at. But I think that uh, it would make a lot of us Zelda fans super happy. I know I, for one, have been loving the heck out of Echoes of Wisdom. I have been, lo I loved Tears of the Kingdom. I loved, I loved, loved Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is still probably one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it is so good. Ichigo Numa is the man. <laughs> like, when it comes to game design, he's the man. <laughs> Ichigo Numa can do no wrong in my head. Um, and I, I really do like these. Uh, I don't think they're the most amazing figures ever, but I'm extremely happy to have this one in my collection. And I think you guys would too. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not shrilling or shilling for this company. I don't, Jax doesn't pay me anything. They didn't even give me a review copy of the figure. Okay, so this is not, you know, this ain't paid for. This is my honest opinion. I, I am super glad that I came across her. She was one of those, I'm in a bad mood today kind of uh, purchases, right? I didn't want to buy an expensive figure, but she was 10 bucks. And I was like, well, can't say no to that. <laughs> even my wife was like, no, you deserve it. <laughs> We got my daughter a toy too, <laughs> and then my my wife got a, a big girl present. Um, so <laughs> it's uh, I haven't yet gotten my wife into Legend of Zelda. I would love to try. She doesn't like 3D games. She says it messes with her stigmatism. Um, but I think I could probably get her to enjoy uh, uh, Echoes of Wisdom, and uh, maybe even uh, maybe even. Uh, Wind, or not Wind Waker, uh, Link's Awakening. That's such a fun little game. It is. It's such a great little RPG. Um, and speaking of RPGs, coming soon, there is DLC for Sea of Stars. There's going to be three-person couch co-op in a RPG. This is new. I don't think anybody's ever done that. So we're going to see if that's boring as heck or if it's really fun to do. I'm going to try and rope my daughter and my wife into it. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, but as far as Zelda goes, awesome. I uh, I will definitely pick up more of the Jack specific uh, Zelda figures if they make them. Um, they don't ever put like all the other figures on their cards and stuff like that. They, they, they just don't do stuff like that. And that's, that's a little disappointing too. Um, but hey, you know what? This is what it is, and I think it's pretty good for what it is. Uh, but, you know, you have to make your own choices here. Come here, Zeldy. Oh, Link. <laughs> right. that, was, that was how she was in, in, in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the King. Oh, yes. She was so proper. <laughs> right? Zelda. Zelda. You gotta tell everybody what to do. Right. Right. Subscribe and turn on notifications and like the video because you like me. I'm a wonderful little princess and I'm I'm delightful. <laughs> That's right, you are delightful. You know what, what else can they do? You can check out Hyperdelic's Patreon page, or you can go to Hyperdelic's Instagram, or you can even contact Hyperdelic through Instagram, Facebook, or you know, um, Discord. Yeah, Discord. I'm on there too. Uh, you know, hit me up if you want to talk, if you want to chat, you know, stuff. I also have been streaming uh, Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, and uh, I've been doing that pretty much uh, every day since it's come out. So, you know, come, follow me. And if I've already finished the game, hey, go back and watch it. I'm sure I'm posting them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this has been Hyperdelic and Zelda <laughs> saying you guys have an awesome day. I love you. Thank you all for checking out this review. And, uh, you know, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. And uh, I will see you soon. Come follow me and watch my game streaming. It's uh, fun. I ramble about all kinds of crazy crap. <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes I take on trolls. <laughs> Not the kind that are in Legend of Zelda. The kind that like to hit my server or hit my, uh, hit my channel. 
man, I got blasted the other day. But jokes on them, it just helped me out for you know view wise. Tons of views, they just kept coming. <laughs> I was like, it's okay, keep them coming. <laughs> That's how you deal with trolls. You just let them do the trolly things that you do and laugh about it. You know, laugh with them. Honestly, sometimes these kids that do the troll joking and stuff like that and ripping on people, sometimes they're hilarious. And they uh, they they have a they have a special place in my heart sometimes. I I really do. I, I like the trolls out there. The uh, two P server guys. Hey, listen. I ain't got no hard feelings against you guys hitting my server. In fact, I wish you guys would come back and chat and make stupid jokes again. I uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> it's uh it's fun humor for me. Uh, except for the you know some of the bad comments. You know I gotta I gotta make sure I curate that. But you know. When you guys stay relatively uh, in the boundaries, you guys are hilarious. Um, and I mean that. I, seriously, there were some jokes that got me. <laughs> I was like, oh man, that's great. <laughs> so you guys keep on keeping on. I, uh, I appreciate that there are kids out there that just like, let's go be idiots. <laughs> it's a good time sometimes. You guys know it is. <laughs> all right. Well, again, I love you all. Have a great day. And uh, remember to play. Play a lot. Play video games. Play with toys. No matter how old you are, play keeps you young feeling it does it really does work <laughs> play play hard <laughs> all right kids bye